Yeah, so right now, at the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you, get an attention span. If you can't take more than eight seconds of the video, go get an attention span. I suggest stop watching shorts. Other than that, I'm not going to try to give you a go and hook you or, or deceive you into anything or do the whole camera movement thing. Oh, it's supposed to be slow. Oh, little slow changes, whatever. Watch to the end. Do me a favor. If you like the material you see in this, content in this, hit like. Maybe subscribe. I don't give a shit. I do because it helps me out. Kind of. Not really because I don't have nearly the hours to even be monetized and I don't really care. So I do this for my son. All this for my boys. Yeah, too much shit really going on to be able to background be able to see anything ah don't matter this is a idiot's impersonation of a motorcycle fabricator I don't know shit I'm not a tradesman I'm not nothing don't want to plan a repairman that's about it anyway so we are cannibalizing some exhaust Is when I got this bike, the exhaust was cut off right at the pegs, which is, is just ridiculous. Uh, don't pay attention to that. That's just something I did up so I'd have rear brakes on my birthday, August 27th, so I could ride this because that was my great goal, but it didn't happen. So, main reason why is because front sprocket, that's all you guys that are not idiots know, won't work with the CBR rear. Anyways, I got a sprocket on the way. Should be here in a few days. So then go after that. Get some exhaust on this thing. That's not cut off with the pegs. At least not just hanging out there stupid like. So you've seen the two and the one on that side. We're going to go two to one on this side. And from there, I'd like to get out the back. Probably going to be twin exhaust. Ain't going to be no freaking horn. You know, thing. Like that. Heck, that. heck with that. No, I ain't doing it. And that's about it. That's it for now. I don't care what you think, what anyone else thinks. Really, I don't. Sorry, Carnegie Moto, but I can't afford your stem. So I'm going to have to use that thing. So that I can uh, get this other front end on it. The good old GSXR. Because that's all you know that aren't idiots. Is that the GSXR front end requires a longer stem. The one that's on the front end is on here right now. It's actually a Kawasaki. Yeah, it went on except for it's a single nut instead of double nut under there. So you know that ain't gonna work. But I mean it works for it's posed for pictures. <laughs> um for me to be able to roll around in that. But like I guess hey, Carnita Moto, I've been to their site. I got some fantastic stuff. It's just this is a no budget build. I mean really pretty much no budget. Right now I've got maybe a hundred bucks into it so 154 bucks for the stem it's not a bad price trust me you go get the aluminum stock you go get a lathe or circa 1940 mini lathe whichever and you turn it get lots of stock because you're gonna have to practice your threading you know i'm just saying and then um also remember it's metric thread if you want to use your original spanner nuts <laughs> So then, you know, you better have a different gear set for your threader or come up with uh, nuts that are going to work with the thread that, you can, that you're going to use or have to use or it's going to be a bitch. But there it is, wrapped up for today in that ugly, nasty, ill-wrapped package with screwed up bow. But there it is, rotten cherry on top. Be seeing you soon.